Dear friends, welcome to the conduction and convection aspect of heat transfer phenomena in the edges of polymer process engineering. Now, here is a brief outlook that what we discussed in the previous uh, segment. We discussed about the melting temperature, glass transition temperature, thermal conductivity, thermal conductivity in polymer and composites. We discussed about the conduction heat transfer polymeric system. Um, then heat transfer example were given in, um, in brief in that particular segment. Now, in this particular segment, we are going to discuss about the conduction in polymeric system in detail with a couple of examples. Then we will discuss about the convection in polymeric system and convection in the laminar flow of polymeric system, then the laminar flow of molten polymers. We will discuss about the heat transfer data for uh, molten polymers and heat transfer data for soft polymers and heat transfer in the turbulent flow of polymers. Now let us take up uh, the conduction in polymeric systems, the cylindrical coordinates. So the heat transfer studies this can be carried out for any system boundaries such as uh, spheres, rectangles, cylindricals um, and or any non-uniform shape. So most of the heat transfer studies of the polymers they are carried out in the cylindrical systems. For example, if we want to study the conduction poly phenomena of a specific polymer system which is being synthesized in the injection molding system in a CSTR, then these type of assemblies are considered as a cylinder for convenience. Now here you see that for cylindrical coordinate system which is represented in this particular figure, the term used are where R theta the and z they are the coordinate directions v r v theta v z these are the velocity component in the r theta and z coordinates all three coordinates then tau uh, this, this is, these are the shear stresses uh, then the normal stresses and rho is the density p is the pressure and t the point temperature and q they are the different components of energy flux and c is the constant volume specific heat whereas a naught is the heat generation term so the temperature of a fluid element in motion is affected by the heat conduction given in this these particular equation so um, these equations if you see now this uh, uh, th 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 there are various terms like here this particular term is uh, represented at the part, this particular part indicates the expansion effect due to the heating into the material. The temperature of a fluid element in motion is affected by the heat conduction this is given by this particular uh, equation. Now here these various terms being indicative and uh, you see that uh, this is uh, this particular term is the indicates the expansion effect due to the heating into the material. However, this term, this particular term, this is multiplied by the first function at constant density. This indicates the viscous heating and similarity with the second term displays the viscous dissipation in the solution. Now, the third term which is the normal uh, stress term. This is a similarly the, um, these functions is related to the normal stress term. Now when we talk about the another term that is the, this is the shear stress term. These values account for the shear stress and finally this A naught this indicates that all type of heat generation such as the phase change, chemical source and electrical source. So these are the various terms. Now the viscous uh, dissipation effect, this takes place in all fluids because of the energy used to move the fluid, this becomes dissipated. The size of effect, this is related to the both velocity gradient and the, the fluid apparent viscosity. Hence the fluid with the large apparent viscosity such as molten polymers in this effect can be quite sizable. Now let us consider uh, um, a solid body of a arbitrary shape which is having the volume V, mass M, density rho and the surface area A and a specific heat Cp. This is uh, as per this particular figure. To start with the time, the tau T is equal to 0. Let us temperature throughout the body is uniform that is T is equal to T initial and at tau is equal to 0. Let the body be suddenly placed in the medium at a temperature of T A which is as per this figure. Now, amount of heat transferred into the body in time interval say uh, 
d tau that is the increase in the internal energy of the body that is h dot a t minus t tau d t is equal to m c p d t that is equal to rho c p v d t. Now, since t a is constant, so we can write d t is equal to d t tau t a. Therefore, d t tau is minus t a over t tau minus t a this is equal to h a over rho c p v d t this is equation number 1. Now, integrating between tau is equal to 0 that is t is equal to t i and any tau that is t is equal to tau. So, ln t tau minus t a over t i minus t a is, is equal to h a tau rho c p v and t tau t i minus t a which is equal to exponential h a tau over rho c p v. This is equation number 2. Now, let us take rho c p v over h a is equal to t, where t is known as thermal time constant and has a unit of time, unit has time that is s. Therefore, this uh, equation number 2 can be rewritten as t tau minus t a over t i minus t a that is tau over t and that is equation number 3. So, now denoting theta is equal to t tau minus t a we can write equation this particular equation compactly as theta over theta i t tau minus t a over t i minus t a is, is equal to e to the power tau over t and that is equation number 4. So, therefore, equation 4 this gives the temperature distribution in a solid polymer as a function of time when the internal resistance of the solid for the conduction is negligible compared to the convective uh, resistance uh, at its surface. This shows, this particular figure shows the temperature variation with time in various polymeric system. Uh, now, consider a plane slab. This is shown in the figure. Let the surface on the left is maintained at temperature T1 and the surface on the right is the temperature T2. As a result of heat being lost to the fluid uh, at temperature T a, the flowing with the heat transfer coefficient h. Now, this uh, once we write the, the energy balance at the right hand side surface, which can be represented as K a L T 1 minus T 2, which is equal to h a T 2 minus T a. So, if we rearrange the things, it will become T 1 minus T 2 over T 2 minus T a that is L over K a into 1 H a that is equal to H L K. Now, here this is the resistance conduction, this is the resistance convection and which is equal to by number. What is the criteria in the conduction heat transfer in the polymeric system? Now, if we recall this uh, previous figure, here uh, the temperature profile 
for uh, this is less than bi less than less than 1 this is the biot number now it suggests that one can assume a uniform temperature distribution within the solid now situation during the the transient uh, transient conduction which is shown in the figure the, this particular figure it may be observed that uh, temperature distribution is a strong function of biot number now for biot number less than less than 1 the temperature gradient in the solid is small and the temperature can be taken as a function of time only now also for if biot number is greater than greater than 1 then the temperature drop across the solid is much larger than that across the convective layer of at the surface so uh, let us define the biot number it is in general uh, is given as bi is equal to hlc over k where h is the heat transfer coefficient between the solid surface and the surrounding and k is the thermal conductivity of the solid and um, lc is <coughs> this one is a characteristic length defined as the ratio of the volume of the body to its surface area that is lc is equal to v over a for polymer solids such as the plain slab long cylinders and sphere polymer composite it is found that the transient temperature distribution within the solid at any instant is uniform with the, the error being less than about say 5% if the this particular criteria is satisfied that is uh, biot number is equal to hlc over k is less than 0.1 that is called the equation number 6 so if we recall the equation 5 the lc for the common shapes are like plain uh, wall thickness having the 2l that is lc is equal to a 2l over 2a is equal to l similarly if a long cylinder r that is having the radius r in the sphere if they are having the radius r and the cube they are having the side uh, side l so we are having various common shape which are represented in the lc now here they are putting the value of uh, t that is rho is equal to cp uh, v over h a this part in the equation number 4 if you recall so theta over theta i is equal to t tau minus t a over t i minus t a that is e to the power h a tau over rho c p in so application to a given problem is very simple and a solution for any transient condition conduction problem must begin with the examining if the criteria less than bio bio number less than 0.1 is satisfied to see if the equation previous equation number 7 is uh, could be applied now if uh, if we go to the equation number 7 the term h a tau over rho c p v this can be written as per this particular equation in this the alpha is the thermal diffusivity and mathematically alpha can be represented as k over rho c p and the fourier number this is represented as f o uh, is equal to alpha tau over l l c square now let us take up uh, another question now this uh, example that two sheets of a glass reinforced polyester are to be bonded together with an adhesive that fuses at 110 degrees celsius the press used to heat the system has the platens capable of attending 200 degrees celsius so how long should it take to bond the sheets of if each is 2 centimeter thick so you require n is equal to 0 m is equal to 1 biot number 1 alpha that is a thermal diffusivity is given as 2.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 centimeter square per second now you can use the previous chart as your chart which is given here uh, and also remember that uh, tb um, that is the original point temperature is always taken as 25 degrees celsius so this is the hasler chart this is conduction in a large set for unsteady state now let us take in this case uh, we assume that the interface which is the adhesive must reach 110 degrees celsius to bond so if we use the hasler uh, chart and equation 2 and 8 for reference and if you modify the equation to y is equal to t a minus t m over t a minus t b and that is 200 minus 110 over 200 minus 25 and that is 0 0.515 and x is equal to k theta over rho c p 
R m square that is equal to 1.32 where T a this one T a T m and T b they are the ambient <coughs> mid plane and original temperatures and K is the polymer thermal conductivity and theta is time and rho and Cp are polymer density and specific heats and R and Rm are the positions and radius or half thickness. Now, if uh, let uh, let us plot um, the y and x values in the Hessler uh, graph and mark the that the line where m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 0 is given. So, you will find this um, particular thing. Now, again uh, let us take that x is equal to k theta over rho c p r m square. This is equal to alpha or theta is equal to x r m square alpha or theta is equal to 1.32 into 2 centimeter square that is r m and 2.16 into 10 to the power minus 3 centimeter square per second which comes out to be 2.034 into 10 to the power 3 and theta is comes out to be 2034 over 3600 h which is 0 0.565 h. So, um, another let us take another example and this is a nylon 610 material is charged to a screw extruder whose barrel and screw walls are heated to 200 degrees Celsius. Now, if the depth of a helical uh, flow channel is 1.2 centimeter, what should be the maximum time required for the mid plane temperature to reach 175 degrees Celsius? You are provided the values of alpha that is equal to 9.55 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeters square per second. Now, in this case, the granular solid, this can be represented by a bed of uh, the material. The maximum required time will occur when heat is supplied only by the extruder barrel and screw wall. Let us solve this problem with the help of um, this unsteady state heat transfer for polymer chips graph. Now, here y is equal to T1 minus T over T1 minus T naught, which is as per the problem 25 minus 175 upon 25 minus 200 which comes out to 150 to 107 over 175 which is 0 0.855. So, if we plot the line uh, for y values to get the x values of uh, nylon 66, the x value corresponding to this uh, um, nylon 66 is uh, x is equal to 0 0.09. Now, here you see. So, theta is equal to 0 0.09 into 0 0.6 over 9.55 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter square and k theta over rho c p r square is equal to 0 0.09. So, theta comes out to be 340 S. Now, again if we see this k theta over rho c p r square is equal to 0 0.09 and theta is equal to 0 0.09 r square over k rho c p. So, therefore, theta is equal to 0 0.09 into 0 0.6 uh, centimeter square over 9.9.55 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter square over and this comes out to be 340 second and that is our answer. 
now let us talk about the convection heat transfer in polymeric system for circular conduits. Now mostly slurries, suspensions, um, dispersions, solution of uh, polymeric materials and melt exhibits the complex flow behavior which cannot be described by the Newtonian law of viscosity that is tau is equal to gamma where tau is the shear stress and gamma is the shear rate and the constant, uh, constant of proportionality eta is the material property that is called the viscosity. So, the convective heat transfer to such fluids depend upon the fluid rheology, geometric configuration of the flow domain as well as the flow regime, maybe laminar, turbulent, whatever. The apparent viscosity of non-Newtonian fluid that is eta A is equal to tau uh, gamma, this is not uh, a material property as uh, in the case of Newtonian fluid, but may depend on the rate of shear and previous uh, flow history of fluid. So, the convective heat transfer uh, to the pseudoplastic or dilatant fluids uh, described by the well known Oswald D. Well power law model. Now, this power law model, this uh, the model of non-Newtonian fluid, the power law model is used where the shear stress tau is given by k is equal to del u over del y to the power n, where k is the flow consistency index and del u over del y is the shear stress and n is the flow behavior index that is dimensionless. So, if we see the, the this particular plot, you find that n this is the type of a fluid. If n is less than 1, this is the pseudoplastic. If n is equal to 1, that is the Newtonian fluid. And if n is greater than uh, uh, 1, that is the dilatant. Now, here uh, the, there are various governing equations are represented. Now, here you see that this is the continuity equation. And if we talk about the x momentum and r momentum, these are the governing equations which can be used for the reference to find out the convective convection heat transfer in the polymeric system. So, if we see these governing equations uh, in the cylindrical coordinates with x, r and theta denoting the stream wise radial and tangential coordinates. Um, u and uh, view, view, u and v this denoting the stream wise and the radial viscosity velocity component rho is the fluid density g x and g f they are the component of acceleration of gravity vector and p is the pressure so the fluid total extra stress is the sum of a newtonian solvent contribution having a solvent viscosity and the polymer additive stress contribution so this is your um, energy equation under the edge of uh, governing equation. Now, in this particular equation, K is uh, the fluid thermal conductivity, T is the temperature and C is the specific heat of the fluid. These equations are valid for developing and fully developed pi flow in absence of any kind of cell. Now, also this uh, energy equation which is uh, uh, developed in the pre this particular slide is used uh, in a simplified form for developing flow if uh, uh, del v over del x is less than less than uh, to the del u over del r that is the axial diffusion is far less important than the radial radial diffusion and that the radial heat convection is much weaker than the axial heat convection. Therefore, the energy equation that is equation number 10 becomes like this. Now, a fairly sizable technical literature has accumulated over the years in the area of convective heat transfer in polymeric system. Now, this literature can be roughly divided into those effects that can mainly experimental and those are essentially solution to the equation of energy. Now, there are many solutions and equations have been derived to solve the equation of energy for tube flow and the generalized form of the equation is represented as this equation number 11. Now, which assumes only for V and there is no viscous dissipation, no compressibility effects, no internal heat source, constant pressure C, P and K and assume that Z direction convection P, C, P and V and del T over del Z far exceeded the Z direction conduction and that is K is equal to del 2 T over del Z. Now, this is a tabular form. Um, uh, uh, which represents uh, the literature search of various solution which is 
uh, required in this, this type of a study. Uh, various authors they have enlisted, they, are, they de developed the various equations and uh, the, the, these equations are depend on like uh, first equation that is Christian and Craig. They uh, the, the equation used in the form of a power law and these equations are temperature dependent to, uh, viscosity. Apart from this, uh, another equation which is used for the uh, Powell and Irving, this temperature dependent viscosity. And the third one, Joshi and Burgley's, this is a, uses a power line that constant heat flux temperature dependent properties. Now, in this aspect, uh, when uh, we talk, we are talking about the circular conduits, in this aspect, more rigorous solution of the equation of energy is need to be developed by a number of authors. These authors assume that the convective z direction, that is rho Cp Vz into del T or del Z heat transfer exceeded the convective direction and that is K del 2T over del Z, the heat transfer in normal state stresses could be neglected. Then the energy equations uh, which is represented as equation number 12, which can be represented like this. Now this particular equation can be transformed into more amenable form by several substitutions. The first of this is that from the Fourier's law that is RQR is equal to minus KR del T over del R and that is equation number 13. Also, since the system is now a compressible one, so Cp is not equal to Cv and consequently the Cp minus Cv is equal to T psilon over rho beta. This is equation number 14. So, from equation number 14, we have the coefficient of thermal expansion that is epsilon is equal to uh, minus 1 upon rho del rho over del t at constant pressure and for the compressibility beta is equal to um, 1 over rho into del rho over del p at constant temperature. Now if equation 13 and 14 are substituted into the equation 12, then the, the following form of the result can be represented like rho Cp Vz del T over del Z is equal to 1 upon R del over del R Kr del T over del R plus T sin Vz del P over del Z minus tau Rz del Vz over del R. So, this is the equation number 15. Now, the overall thermal expansion effect um, is uh, this one where del P over del Z is equal to minus 1 upon R del over del R, R tau R Z and this is the equation number 16. So, the thermal expansion effect usually is a function of T epsilon Vz over R into del, del R, R tau Rz and this is the equation number 17. So, putting, uh, if we put the equation number 17 in equation 12, the final energy equation, this becomes like this and it is represented as equation number 18. Now, this equation is then solved together with the equation of the motion and appropriate relation of the for the system's rheology and its physical property behavior with the temperature and pressure. So, summary of these solutions is given by these various authors in this uh, particular table for the uh, for your convenience uh, we have enlisted all those things uh, like tour they, they 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 use the power law equation and they neglect the viscous dissipation assumes the constant physical properties and analytical solution similarly again in, in the subsequent year he used the power law for the constant properties treated in let region and analytical solutions apart from this various other authors they used where they no effect of compressibility uh, cooling was uh, taken into account. Apart from this, the temperature dependent physical properties and the computer solutions they have taken into account. 
Now, in moving from uh, the center to the wall, the portion, this is the center from to the wall, the portion of the previous equation 18 that undergoes the greatest change um, that is 1 upon r, where, where r over r is equal to 0 and r, 1 over r is equal to infinite over r, then the wall r over r is equal to 1 and 1 over r is equal to 1 r. In contrast, the viscous dissipation term tau r z, uh, this depends directly on tau tz uh, and velocity gradient. So, if we consider separately the effect of uh, the tube center and the tube wall resin, we see the various effects in this particular table with respect to the location, then 1 over r values and effect on this particular equation. The result is represented in the tabular form. You can see over here, these are the various uh, results which we have enlisted for your convenience. Now, when we plot a, a temperature profile in non-Newtonian system uh, with expansion effects, so this shows the effect of the thermal expansion and when n is equal to, uh, uh, eta is equal to 0.25 with the negligible viscous dissipation and constant fluid properties. So, the various silence values represents the, the average value uh, of temperature across the tube. So, it can be seen in this particular plot, the effect of thermal expansion or compressibility cooling, this is depress the point temperature in the center of the tube. Now, let us talk about the Nusselt number. This is the ratio of the convective to conductive heat transfer across normal to the boundary and mathematically this Nusselt number is equal to the thermal resistance due to the conduction in fluid and thermal resistance due to convection in fluid. And uh, this can be represented in mathematical form like this, where the L is the characteristics length and H is the heat transfer coefficient and K is the thermal conductivity. So, the Nusselt number greater than 1 indicates that the resistance due to the conduction is higher than that due to convection. And so, the movement of the fluid will result in more heat transfer when the Nusselt number is less than 1, then the situation is opposite to the above. The ratio of the product of the coefficient of viscosity and specify a specific heat at constant pressure to the thermal conductivity in fluid flow used, especially in the study of heat transfer in the mechanical devices. So, the ratio of momentum diffusivity uh, to the thermal diffusivity, diffusivity is given at Tr is equal to u over alpha and that is called the Prandtl number. The ratio of the fluid viscosity to the thermal conductivity, this is of a substance, a low number indicating the high convection. So, the fluid with, the, uh, with a small Prandtl number are free flowing liquid with a high thermal conductivity and therefore, good choice for heat conducting liquids. Grades number, this uh, uh, is uh, given by D over L into Reynolds number into Prandtl number. Now, this there, there D is the hydraulic diameter of the tube or any cross sectional number and L is the length of the tube. This number characterizes the laminar flow in a conduit and this number is useful for determining the thermally developing the flow entrance length index and grades number is approximately 1000 or less is um, at the point at which the flow would be considered thermally fully developed. Now, there is a relationship between the Nusselt and Grace number for constant wall heat flux condition, the neglecting longitudinal heat conduction and internal frictional heat dissipation. Um, the, the approximation is given to obtain the analytical expression for the local Nusselt number, which is given by this particular equation and this is equation number 19, which is useful for determining the relationship between the Nusselt and the Grace number. Now, if we are having uh, um, 0 is uh, less than eta, less than equal to 1, then the most useful form of equation is represented like this. This is the Graves number. Now, for the Newtonian case, when eta is equal to 1, the, this equation reduced to like this. Now, in this particular graph, the Nusselt and Graves solution for the plug flow and a Newtonian fluid are compared to the power law fluid solution where 
and need i is equal to half or 1 by 3 this is derived by the leach and the bird in their studies another nusselt grade solution is shown in this particular graph which uses the term br is the which is the measure of the internal heat generation now if br is uh, small the heat generation can be neglected and the negative value indicate the situation uh, which is the fluid is being heated that is tw is greater than t1 and positive value indicates the cooled fluid uh, that is tw is less than t1 so dear friends in this particular segment we discuss the different aspects of uh, convective heat transfer, conductive heat transfer, we developed the various relations and for your convenience we have enlisted a, li a large number of references which can be utilized for the further studies. Thank you very much.